Hey everybody, Steve here, IJT Custom Sabers. Got another Saber saw for you guys today. This one was a ton of fun to build. Um, my first Profi uh, install on this one, so that was uh, a learning curve for sure, but loving this board, loving what it can do, um, loving the features of it. So yeah, there'll be a lot more of these to come for sure. This one is in a uh, pretty special hilt. Pretty fun one for me to, to do. Um, took a Saber Forge hilt and then customized it. So we got a Revan right here with uh, some customization done. So what I've done to it is, uh, of course, not use the original switch holes, which I believe are here, near this plate. Yeah, this side, they're under here. So covered all that up from the original switch holes with this nice bit of brass and etched. You guys can uh, see there. So we got Revan mask right there, and we got the House of Revan over here. <coughs> Two tactile switches. Um, this was in the place of like the Greeblies that Saber Forge puts on their hilt, which I just removed um, and then drilled out the bottom hole bigger than the top hole. Um, yeah, so now you've got these two switches here. Lines up nicely with the detail on the hilt, which I thought made it look better too, because otherwise the regular switch was like over here and there's nothing, and I just, it didn't look right to me. So I'm gonna make that all line up. So that lines up nicely with that. Um, you got your blade plug, <coughs> and then uh, chassis inside the pommel here. So if we unscrew this, Lots of threads on there, which is good. You got your Saber Essentials speaker here. Slide that out. Little twist, lots of wires. So with this one, I went ahead. Um, just be gentle with it when you pull it out. Don't yank on it, please. Um, the wires are pretty secure up in the top with the LED module and on the switches, but still, there's no reason to pull on these. There's no reason for any force to be needed to get the battery out. So in here you got uh, your Profi board, 18650 removable battery. Just put this little uh, tab on here to make it easier to pull out and put in. Um, a cool feature with the uh, the board, you notice everything in there is really tight. Not really any way to get at your uh, micro USB or your SD card. Ha! Yes, there absolutely is. Um, all I did, sorry guys. But this is, uh, like I said, it's on a uh, pivot, so there's a hinge. You can see the little hole right there. And this red bit of the chassis just pops out. So just, boom, you can see it pops up. Now you can access your port, you can access your SD card, make the changes, um, reflash it, reprogram whatever you want to it. So it's just on a, on a swivel, just like so. I need to get it back in, just a little pull out. I use a knife, um, just put a little bit of uh, glue on the one side just to help hold the board down when it's in to keep it from wanting to pop up because all the wires that are underneath there. So yeah, so that is your chassis. We've got Revan on the bottom, some features under here, the windows, the PC. So you got some accident LEDs in there. So let's just fire this up. So you got a couple of blinking LEDs under there, one blinking fast, one blinking slow. Gives a really cool effect. So those are a couple of ultraviolet LEDs, so they're purple. And then what I've done is sanded and used a little piece of the enhanced blue day blades that fit nicely inside the chassis. Uh, and it gives a really, really nice purple through that enhanced blue. And it looks really good. Just like so. Close that up. So now you get your chassis back in. Um, there is a notch cut in the back here. Uh, lines up with a screw up at the top. So you want the RJT on your chassis to line up with the cover tech. And I just give it a couple of turns as it's going in to help keep the wires nice and neat out of the way. Get to that again. See it there, RJT there, and it'll slide right in. 
Don't push on the speaker, push on the edge of the chassis. And then you can screw your pommel on. This, of course, is a NeoPixel Saber as well, guys. So <clears throat> that goes on. This thing is crazy loud as well. Let's get that ignition. Smooth swing. And I did make a NeoPixel blade plug for this one as well. Just for that added effect. I want it to still look cool when you have a blade put in. So that is uh, kind of the outside of the saber. Let's get a uh, blade put in here for you. So you can see what that looks like. I did a bunch of cool effects. Um, probably won't go over all of them, <coughs> but we'll go over some of the main ones. So, got your blade in. Got a 34 inch um, NeoPixel blade, trans white. So, and revving, so lots of purples and stuff in here. This one's got quite a uh, flicker to it. I can see it on the camera coming in there. There we go. So yeah, flickers, real nice. And then of course you got all that simple you know, pixel traction, missions, blaster blocks, block ups. This has even got the, uh, the kit. So the kit throws a different color, the drag, the drag feature on that one. Uh, you can see it better in some of the other colors than this one. Force effects. Love the NeoPixel blades. Just love them. So several sound fonts on here. Teensy. Go to Teensy. Uh, this one's more of a red. And this one's got that um, ignition. So the tip is a different color as it comes out in the main blade. You see that? Watch closely. So this one's got like a yellow tip extension on it. Which is really cool. So yeah. And of course the tracks. Switch sound fonts again. Some of them take a little longer um, for the board to load than others. Some go really quick. Like this one takes a few few seconds to get there. So just wait for it. There it is. This one again has got quite a flicker to it. More of a blood orange kind of color. got that tip again as well. You can see there was white on this one. One more time. That's just cool. Okay. And then of course the tip. So this one again is a white. Got the drag. These things are cool. The stuff you can do. I mean seriously. It's pretty wild. Necro Vault. This one was kind of fun. I made a really kind of wild blade for this one, this Necro Volt. So again, back to the purples. But it really flickers, hums, and crackles. Nice slow retract on that one to match the sound. Bunch of different effects. This one I don't think, um, it's not picking up the font. It does go just give it a little bit. There you go. Another red orange blade. Smooth gray. This is like your, your rain blade. There you go. Flickers. 
super cool. Solo killer by Novastar. This one I believe is just a purple. Or a blue. It's like the only blue blade on there, I think, for you, bud. Plasma sword. Plasma sword, obviously. Fire. Gotta go with the fire for plasma. Go straight with the flash. Got all the fire. Plasma sword. Do the second one, this one in purple, so in the magenta. And then for this one, I put, uh, for the fly, there's a bunch of red and then some red orange for your hots and your, and your different flickers with the, with the magenta and the whites. Looks really cool in person. I really like it. Um, hope you do as well. So by so I did the gradient. So I did those, so you got red, kind of purple, all the way up to blue at the tip. For a really neat kind of effect of all the colors there. Prismatic light. Rainbow. Just because why not? Right? Might as well. Prismatic, it just seemed to fit. It was a prism, rainbow, or wet. That's why I went with it. Vengeance. And you got your. Kind of cool effect. And then this one, I believe, is your. Vengeance. Yeah, your battery level indicator. So you can see this one. We're about. Two thirds battery power on that. Vengeance. And back to your main sound block. And that unstable, kind of purpley magenta blade. You got uh, red flickers in here with the magenta. Makes for a real deep undertone and flicker. I like it. Awesome. And yeah, all that smooth swing. Gotta love that. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, super fun, you know, with the etch and the brass and the and the cut the uh, claws out to fit that underneath there because this actually wraps right underneath. Um, this was a ton of fun to build, ton of fun to do. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more. Lots more profi stuff coming out. Lots more custom stuff coming out the, this year, guys. Um, and tons and tons and tons and tons of new chassis coming this year in the next couple months. So be sure to keep checking out the Shapeway Shop. Links will be in the description. Check out the Facebook page. Follow us. Like us. Lots of cool things coming, guys. Steve Largy Custom Sabers, may the force be with you. And uh, have a good one. Until next time, guys.